Hey guys, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you how to wash a bugaboo fox. I will also be making future videos on how to change the bassinet to a seat and a seat to a bassinet and also a review on this pram and maybe a few other videos if I can think of any more to do with it but I will definitely have those videos that I mentioned coming up. So back to today's video is so back to today's video, I'm going to show you how to take all of the fabric off, that's my dog, don't mind him, <laughs> for the bassinet and also for the seat. So let's start with the bassinet, we have the bassinet on right now, there's our hood, our apron and the actual fabric inside here. The hood clamps are a little bit different now, so they still have the clampy bit on the bottom, but they now slide in at the top instead of just completely clipping on. So it's a weird design and it's kind of tricky to get your head around, but once you work it out, then it's easy to do. So you lift from the bottom and kind of slide it out, and then you just lift it upwards and it slides out. Alright, so we're going to remove the other side. I've showed you a close off of how to do that. And we're going to uncatch the wood on the lever at the back. I find that it's a little bit easier if you release it. I feel like it comes off easier. There is our hood taken off. I'll come back to the hood in a second and show you how to take it off the hood rods and clamps, but that's really easy. We're going to unzip our apron. That was a little tricky. I don't know why, maybe just because it's got like the double zipper. So that can go in the wash just like that. Now we're going to remove our belly bar. We have two white buttons over here and two over here. It works. And I find that you have to kind of push into the frame to have it release, if that makes sense. So like push down on the belly bar and then it will release much easier instead of like pushing it and pulling up, so push down and then it releases. This piece doesn't need to be washed at all, it has like the leatherette <laughs> um, belly bar cover here and that can just be wiped down if it is dirty. And we have our bassinet, so it does unclip at the bottom, of, oh, sorry, at both ends at the bottom. Uh, it has a little pin in here which we're going to need to slide this uh, part across, so that way. Oh, yep, okay, that worked. And then we have to do the back, so the same thing. We're going to slide it to one side and it's going to release. We're going to remove the piece of fabric, sorry about that, uh, that is over the uh, recline lever. So we want to lift that up and over. So with the front part of the bassinet, we're going to slide it down so that it comes out. It's probably easier to do it at the same time now I think about it. There's like a hard piece in there that is what uh, goes in and all the way up, if that makes any sense. That's what we are taking out of the frame. It kind of like slides in. And then we have the same down here at the bottom. One side has a green arrow, that is the side that goes in first, so you want to pull from the opposite side. It will make it easier if you take the base out, I just forgot that that was in there because this is just a new design. <laughs> so that is just, um, the fabric is just kind of pulled over that, it's not kind of stuck in there by anything too crazy. 
pop that one over there. Now we can start to pull this out. So it just has to all slide around the frame. Okay, there is our bassinet fabric. Don't forget to separate it into three pieces. So this is the main black cover that goes on top. And then there is this air mattress part that is like a breathable mesh over the top of the mattress so that it's uh, breathable for babies to lie on. And then there is this foam part at the bottom in a cover that does not come off. So make sure that you pull these three part pieces apart for washing. On the bassinet, if you pull back these little straps, you will see that there is an opening in the plastic so that the, uh, what is this called, strap can come through it. So we're going to remove these two plastic pieces on both ends of the bassinet. Don't forget to do that. We don't want to put this in the machine with these plastic pieces on. take the hood off. So the hood comes off with these weird little clippy things. They're not normal hood clamps anymore. They have a hood clamp at the bottom so you can lift it from behind and then slide it forward and it will release. So do that on both sides and there is our hood taken off. Next, we'll take the belly bar off. So we have two white buttons on both sides. I find it easier if you push the belly bar forward and then release it. Instead of trying to just pull off, it doesn't come off. But if you push forward, it releases much easier. So we're going to remove that. Next I'm going to recline the seat just so that I can get to the base under here. I have put it into a negative position but for me, now I'll be able to get under here. I can unthread these little uh, tabs just like that which will now allow this piece of fabric to be loose. So there are two of the little tabs here. Next, I'm going to undo the four what I call buttons on the bottom of the seat. So one, two, three, four. They're very easy to do. And then I want to slide the fabric back over this plastic part. So now the seat is coming back even further. Now we have this much of the seat coming away.
You can sit the seat up if it makes it a little bit easier. Now I'm going to undo the harness and unthread the whole harness. Just by pulling it through, it's nice and easy. I'm going to sit it up again to show you. And last but not least, we have the normal bugaboo way to get a seat off, which involves lifting the seat fabric from the bottom up and off, but you have to make sure that it comes over this white lever. So I'm going to show you from the back first, and then I'll show you from the side. So that is how you take your bugaboo seat fabric off. So that is how you take your bugaboo fox seat fabric off. And this piece can go in the wash. Don't forget to take the board out of the bottom. This piece, that one doesn't need to go in the wash. We don't have a standard bum board in here because that has been replaced by the seat frame and the when you do wash this or before you wash it don't forget to turn it out the wrong way so that is what I mean by the wrong way and get a brush to scrub it all of these little crumbs in here I will show you a close-up of this So just remember this was the inside of the seat. It normally sits like that. And I suggest that you pop it out from the back and get all of those crumbs out with a brush outside. To take the hood off the hood clamps and rods, we're going to undo all of the little elastic pieces around the sides. If you have false nails, sometimes they're a little tricky, so if you can get like a fork or a screwdriver or anything that is uh, long and pointy that you can just get in there to take it off, that really helps. I'm using my Cricut tool. <laughs> Don't forget to take them off both sides, so there is two on each side. Now all you do is release one side of the clamp, so just pull it and it will come off. I always make sure that I leave the other one on there so I know which way it goes. You're going to reach the other hood rods and pull gently so that the hood will unthread and come out. There are our hood rods. And we also have this extra white piece that is in here to hold the hood stable. I'm going to unzip the hood because it's an extendable hood and I like for all of the fabric to be able to be washed. So I like to unzip it. The last thing that we're going to remove on the fox is the basket to wash it. We're going to pull these little, we're going to actually push them in or pull out, whatever you want to say. So I'm going to push this towards you guys and that will clip out. And then I'm going to push this one away from you guys and that will push out. That would be Klaus with <laughs> a hedgehog toy that he has found. Just bear with him and I. Then we have these weird button things again, so it is basically like a button. 
just take the fabric off. So there is one either side here, so two, one, two. And then we have three and four. And there is our basket completely removed. I am really, really curious. Does anyone know what these holes are in the bottom here? What they are for? Before you put in the washing machine, go and shake it outside, get a brush, <laughs> run it through all the crumbs and stuff in here, and that will make it come up nicer after it's washed. It will not have all the crumbs go through the washing. Instead, it will have them all out before you put it in the washing machine. I put all of the fabric in my washing machine. I added my normal dishwashing liquid, which is just this. And then I added uh, a little bit of the, like a nappy stain remover kind of thing. It doesn't really matter what brand. Uh, there isn't really lots of uh, dirt or grime to get off this pram, so it doesn't really matter. It's just to freshen it up. Don't forget to put it on a gentle wash. Those triangle things can be a little tricky after you've washed the pram because they've flipped all around. But you will notice that there is an end that has like a slot out of it. That end needs to stick out so when you press it in you'll be able to see the little slot taken out of it. You'll know what I mean when you're holding that piece in your hand. We're going to put the bassinet back on. If you want to see how to put the seat back together, I will have another video uh, taking the bassinet off and putting the seat on so you'll be able to see how to do that there. It'll be the same uh, way but right now we're just going to put the bassinet on. So here's our bassinet fabric. We're going to need the two pieces that go either end so they go on these tabs so there's actually two on this end and one that goes on this end. So when we get our bassinet fabric we're going to see what the top is. The top has this hole for the brick line lever to go through and then it has two loops. We want to line the two loops up with this piece of plastic. So that is going to go like that. And then we're going to need the other one to go on this end. So here's this one. And we'll just slot it through. I don't know if it really matters if you do the plastic bits before or after, but I'm doing it before and now I'm going to start putting the bassinet onto the frame, the seat frame, is what I mean. We need to find both green arrows, so there is a green arrow just here and there's also a green arrow on this uh, side of the frame. We need to line that up and we're going to slide the fabric all the way through. A little bit tricky, but once you get the hang of it, it's not so bad. Good idea to put the brake on when you do this. Okay, eventually it will stop once it's all the way around. And then we're going to do the same, but we're going to do it on the outside this time and on both of them. So this can be a little tricky. We have to line them both up. And once they're both in, we want to pull them equal all the way to the top. And then we're going to flip the fabric over. This was going to go out. I might have made a boo-boo on that, but anyways, it's on now. 
so that has to be flipped over. We want to make sure that the white recline lever comes out the little hole there. And it's starting to take the shape of a bassinet now. It's very flimsy, so we're going to need a hard base. We Here is our base. I'm just looking, I don't know if there's a top and a bottom other than the numbers that are on here, so I would just put it this way, I guess. And pop that in. Be careful that you don't press it too hard and snap your board. I'm sure I could see someone doing that. Not on purpose, just on accident. And we're going to want to line the buttons up on the bottom of the board with the buttons, uh, the button holes on here, on the fabric. And we're just moving the fabric into the right position. The little leg flakes have to go through, so we're just moving all of the fabric out of the way. Let's have a look at the bottom, see what we can see. All right, I've lined the bottom feet up. I have not lined the top foot up yet. one keeps coming out as well. That's right, once we get these um, buttoned in, then it will want to work. So I'm going to put it back on the frame. I'm going to recline it so you can see what I'm doing. On the end we have these weird holes where you put the button through and slide across. The button is on the bottom of the bassinet, we just put the fabric through it, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put the button through, might need a little bit of weight, and then we're going to slide it across. Okay, there's some structure on that side. Now we have some stability from our bassinet. You can see that the buttons are locked into place. Oops. Now we want to put our bassinet back together. So we have our three layers. We have our foam mattress with the air protection. And then with the furry side, we want the furry side to be on top of the air meshy part because that is part that baby's um, face, that baby will be laying on. So it creates a little bit of a layer between the foam and where baby is so that they can breathe through. Now our mattress is done, I'm going to put that in. Here is our hood with our hood clamps and hood rods and this extra white bar. I have since noticed after taking it out of the wash that it has a second white bar in here. Right at the back. I thought that it was really stiff and I was like, oh, it's probably just a zipper, it's fine. And I didn't even look into it, but there is actually a second white bar at the back. So be mindful of that. Take that out. <laughs> the little hole where the recline lever goes will go at the back, which means this piece goes on this side. Make sure they're not twisted, otherwise it won't work. <laughs> That's going to be a fun one. And then of course this one goes on this side. Alright, our little bits are attached. Now I'm going to slide the frame on. So the top and then the bottom and again the So after washing your brand, don't forget to put all the little pieces back where they go such as this little piece of plastic that slides in here. You don't want to lose it. Okay, last thing, I'm going to add the belly bar. Thank you. I like to add the belly bar because it gives you like a handle to pick up 
nice and out. I feel like it's so much easier than trying to grab the sides. So that is how you wash a Bugaboo box. I will have another video on how to put the seat on. Like I said, it will be in one of the videos called changing the Bugaboo Fox bassinet to a seat. You'll see how to put the seat on that way. And I, like I said at the start of this video, I will have more videos on this pram and I will have more prams to come in the future. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it helped you and I will see you on my next video. What have you got? Oh, perfect. Just for the camera. What have you got? Hmm? Is that your warthog? It's not yours, is it? Did you borrow it from Socket? Oh. Did you borrow Socket's warthog? Alright. <laughs> I like to add the belly bar because Classy, get out of the bed. Klaus?